With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, man, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, man. It's love season on Netflix. Our guest here, Tom Hopper, has a rom-com coming to the flicks. It's called Love in the Villa. I read the plot for the show, and from what I can see, it seems like you really hit the jackpot. You have a beautiful cat Graham show up at your doorstep, but then you turn into a British prick. How the hell does that work out, Tom? Oh, well, it's because I'm a British prick. <laughs> does that suit your actual personality? It doesn't, actually. Um, I, I like to think I'm a little bit nicer than Charlie. Um, but Charlie, actually, underneath it, he, he is a nice guy. He, the problem is he's a bit bitter and cynical because of the, he's, in, he's not exactly in the job he wants to be in. He's not in the relationship he wants to be in. And um, he's a bit bitter with life. And then the end, I think... Cat's character, Julie, is kind of the ray of sunshine that he actually needs. He just doesn't know it. Um, so I think he becomes more like what I'm probably like in real life, uh, closer, you know, as he goes through the movie. And the film is set in Verona, Italy, the history of love there. I mean, Romeo and Juliet, the Little Rome. I've even heard you say that this is one of your favorite places on Earth. Is Is that accurate? Oh, my God. Yeah, it really is. Like... I'd never been there before, and over the period of shooting this movie, I just absolutely fell in love with the place. I fell in love with the people, the, the food. You know, I'm, I'm a big food fan, and um, what what goes into food, the passion behind it, and uh, the the people of Italy. You know, that's what they live for: is, is serving people amazing food, and um, they certainly do that very well in, in Verona. But just the whole the whole thing was a wonderful experience in Verona. I can't recommend that place enough. It's amazing. And you are a confident guy. I had a chance to watch the trailer uh, just before we got on this uh, interview. And I got to tell you, I just went to the dermatologist the other day and I get a little embarrassed when I have to take my shirt off, but you're actually in your underwear, no shirt, right in the trailer for everyone to see, man. How, how often are you in the gym? Looks like you've been putting in that work, Tom. <laughs> I, um, well, it's kind of like part of, like, you know, like, I, I'm quite an active guy in general. Like, I love uh, I love doing things, you know, to... to... In a fast-paced world, every day brings new challenges and new opportunities. At Strayer University, we know a thing or two about getting and staying ahead of change. For over 130 years, we've been providing students like you with innovative tools, customized support, and an education built to empower you so you can find your way forward and always keep striving. Visit Strayer.edu to learn more. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. For my health and wellness and stuff anyway. But I have to say, you know, you can, you can work out like all day long. But I think so much of it is to do with nutrition and getting that on point. So... I'm pretty consistent with the way I like to eat food. I, I still really like occasionally enjoy myself, you know, I like eat the, the odd. Uh, like in Italy, I was I was very much enjoying the odd little plate of pasta and the odd dessert. And I think the key is consistently uh, eating well, I think, is a, is a big part of it. Yeah, I saw on your Instagram, by the way, if you want to follow our guest, uh, Tom Hopper, he's at tom.hopperhops on Insta, and I see it says you're a vegetable connoisseur. So does that mean uh, no red meat, chicken, or fish at all in your diet? How how long have you been a vegetarian? No, absolutely not. Like I, I do, I do believe in eating meat absolutely, but I believe in eating the right kind of meat. Um, I think you know welfare and the way that an animal is raised is really key. And I also believe in not eating too much of it, only what you need. So, um, but what, when I say vegetable kind of stir, it's because I I believe that vegetables are some of the tastiest things on the planet. Uh, they just have to be prepared and cooked right. Um, and I think 
they get a bad rap for being boring festivals. And actually, I believe, um, like on my Instagram, I put it on quite a lot about, you know, the various dishes that I do and doing them, the vegetables in really unique ways to make them properly tasty. And that's kind of always my goal with my cooking is to try and make... And it also, you, you build the consistency thing in, in being able to eat that way is by really varying up how many kind of vegetables you, you can eat and um, and different ways to cook them. So, uh, yeah, I just really enjoy my cooking and, and vegetables are a great way to do that. Speaking of uh, food, I actually saw the food fight uh, in the trailer as well. Who had to uh, clean that up? How many takes of throwing the pasta at your face did it take? Yeah, we did a few times. Um yeah, the cleanup job was was pretty extensive. Like we were trying to. <laughs> I'm sure that had to be fun though, throwing food yeah. around. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had the director of photography, our cinematographer, was behind the camera and was like covered in like this white sheet to try and stop <laughs> anything covering him. Um, but me and Kat kind of had a free for all and just went for each other. So yeah, I think that the next day was quite a cleanup job. The movie is a romantic comedy. It will be streaming this Friday on Netflix. It's called Love in the Villa. It stars our guest here, Tom Hopper, as well as Kat Graham. Of course, you remember her from The Vampire Diaries. Uh, She played in the Tupac movie, All Eyes to Me, a beautiful woman. And, of course, the ladies love Tom, so it makes for a great romantic comedy. Congrats, by the way. Speaking of Netflix, you have another show that's uh, it just got its renewal, fourth and final season of The Umbrella Academy. I haven't seen this show, but I know people in my family have, and they're a big fan of your character, Luther, who I guess is half man and half ape. I saw the pictures. How long does it take to get that costume design and that costume together before you can stroll out on set? Well, when you're doing the, there's the two versions. There's like the one where I'm in the prosthetic, which takes about uh, two and a half hours uh, to wow. put on. And then there's one that um, I'm able to like zip on, uh, which goes underneath the clothing that I'm wearing. So depending on which one we're doing, it depends on how how tough the day is. But it, uh, it's great. That suit is kind of part of the character really now. Um, and uh, at the end of the third season, I actually, where we end up in the, in the story, um, I'm without that body anymore. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if in the fourth season I still, I stay like myself, what I look like, every, you know, day to day, or if some, some way I end up having my big, uh, big body back. I just uh, recently was reading an article about Ozzy Osbourne, who is, of course, from the UK, England area as, as well, where you're from, and he says he's moving back to the UK because it's just gun violence has become uh, too heavy here in the States. Uh, you spend a lot of time in both places, and it looks like, by the looks of you, you're not afraid of too much. Do you feel safer when you're home in England than you do here in the United States? Um, me, personally, no, I don't feel any less safe. Um, I do, you know, I feel pretty safe wherever I go, but then that's maybe just the way I am as a person. I don't really think of it like that when I go these places. But um, I think the problem is, you know, it's, it's very, it's quite nuanced, that, that problem. Um, and it's, it's far deeper than I can go into in this, in this conversation. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those debates that can go on forever because, you know, people have so many different points of view from both sides. And uh, I understand all sides of it, actually, uh, from, from Americans' point of view. But, you know, we live you know, in rural England. So, you know, we're, we're fortunately, you know, we're, we're in why we consider a very safe place here. But I certainly don't feel unsafe when I travel to America. Well, that's good. We like you to feel home when you're here in the States. I do want to quickly uh, ask you a few questions, whether uh, you like it better on this particular subject in England or here in the States. I'll start with football. Who has the better football? Is it in the okay. United States or is it in England? Ooh, well... And you're a rugby guy. So, I mean, do you consider that football? I know they consider soccer football over there as well. I need to argue that uh, your football is closer to rugby than the... The first step to reaching your full potential is having the courage to start. At Australia University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses because our goal is helping you work toward yours so you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. No cost gen ed provided by Strayer University affiliate Sophia Learning. Eligibility rules apply. Connect with us for details. 
Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Football itself and soccer. So, um, but I mean, I, I can't take away soccer from the UK you know I have to but I do love American football but I uh, I love I love our football and who's your team back home in England uh, so we've got Leicester City and then uh, the Leicester City Football Club and then Leicester Tigers the uh, is my rugby team and then who has the better food better food in the States or better food across the pond uh, well it depends where you go in the UK I'd say that America's got a bigger problem with um, on the whole, in terms of like fast food, I'd say that's a big problem. So it's causing a lot of like obesity issues and stuff. Um, I'd say England, you know, is more traditional. But then also, I've been to some restaurants in America which are phenomenal. You know, so some of the best food I've ever had has been in the states. But uh, tough, tough one. Depends where you depends where you're eating. And then Tom, what about the music? I mean, when you're when you're working out and you're getting ready to go, do you find yourself, you know, jamming out to the Beatles and the Stones or are you getting down on some good old fashioned American rock and roll? What what are you listening to? What music you like better? Well, I love um, I love my rock. Um, I'd say it'd be a mix. And my favorite bands, you know, a lot of them would be a mix of British and like I love um, the British band Muse and Kasabian, um, Oasis, and then I also love Aerosmith. I love um, oh yeah, the Stones as well. I love the Stones from the UK. Um, I love Aerosmith. I love, oh my God, one of my, my absolute favorite is Queen, uh, which is British. Again, um, I used to love Audio Slave, Rage Against the Machine. Um, yeah, so it's kind of pretty pretty balanced, actually. You're a rocker, Tom, and we can't wait to see you falling in love with Cat Graham, although your wife is on set, so be careful. Uh, love in the Villa, the new show on Netflix. It's a brand new movie streaming this Friday. Tom, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Uh, good luck with the movie. I'm going to stream it Friday. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. The first step to reaching your full potential is having the courage to start. At Strayer University, we help students take action by making higher education more affordable with access to up to 10 no-cost gen ed courses. Because our goal is helping you work toward yours. So you can always keep striving. Visit strayer.edu to learn more. No-cost gen ed provided by Strayer University affiliate Sophia Learning. Eligibility rules apply. Connect with us for details. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.